Okay. Okay, it's a, it's a bright 8 a.m., 8.20 a.m. for me here in Los Angeles, California. I'm, re I'm recording Anushka, and I'm meeting with her this morning all the way over 10,000 miles over in South Africa. Um, the one and only, the amazing, and my first South African real estate professional, uh, Anushka. How do you say your last name, Anushka? It's Anushka Lubba. Oh, I love it. Lubba. Anushka Lubba. Because I, 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 I want to honor you. I don't want to uh, uh, say it wrong. Anushka, I, I, what I, why I'm so excited about is, uh, interviewing Anushka this morning is there's something that's impressively striking about her. I've looked at her resume um, or South Africa, your CV, uh, her bio, her content. And everywhere I've looked about you, Anushka, it's like number one, professional, a GCI, a, a top performer. Uh, 100 something percent, 124 percent over over last year in GCI. Um, your causes where you uh, support uh, uh, child sex trafficking, which is just out of this world courageous, Anushka. Uh, and also just your your sales technique and how you do so well in a in a country like South Africa that don't get me wrong, I'm just being sincere when I say this, isn't the most advanced country in the world. You know, it doesn't have um, all the amenities that America has and the opportunities. And yet here you are, Nishka, just crushing it. Uh, I think the most important thing is what I'm here doing today with you, you're my 007 uh, episode, License to Sell. Uh, you know, you know what I want to say, exactly, James Bond, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Nishka, I need you to share with us your trade seekers, why are you so, and I mean this in a, in a, in a, in a lady way, so badass. <laughs> you can give us a brief, brief like, like two minute pitch, elevator pitch. Okay. I am bad as 007. Yeah. Because I want to make people's dreams come true. So I'm, a, um, I'm passionate about people. I know what my big why is. I'm a guru. I'm a rainmaker. I have found my passion in real estate, um, I'm reliable, I'm an extrovert, and I'm very, very committed to not just my clients, but to my family and also to myself. So I set goals and I make sure that I crash them. Yes. That's exactly what I want to hear, Nushka. I also want to make sure that I'm not interfering, I'm gonna get out of there, so i just have you. So Nushka, uh, you're, you, you've been in real estate for five years now. You chose Keller Williams, which is a fantastic company. Um, there's nothing wrong with Keller Williams at all. You've got a, an amazing leader who's written many, many top, top ranking New York Times bestseller books. Uh, but Anushka, this is about you, by the way. So I, I want to, I endorse you, I support you. I'm a fellow South African, um, and I know you have a wonderful, and I understand South Africans have got a lot of grit. Uh, they, they, they're very persistent and they always make a plan. Take us back to the time before you got your real estate license and, and why did you choose this independent contractor avenue to make money? Because there's no certainty, there's no paycheck uh, every month for you, Anushka. So what I have realized, and I'll just go back to before I started in real estate, I've never ever sell, sold a property um so from my first year starting in real estate i was nominated as rookie of the year and, and so much so that i've also been awarded number one agent in south africa and that's about a, out of 1300 agents in south africa uh for this year so i'm very 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 proud of it but i'm a gold digger i always if i see people i always say I want to be like that person. So my background is um, with the recession, I've lost everything. If I say I lost everything, um, I had property, I had vehicles, I've lost everything so much so that I was actually on a feeding scheme with the school. And I just saw property and I saw Facebook, Facebook posts of mm. my um, OP at, at the time, Marco Kutzer, and it always just looks so positive. So nothing gets me down. 
Um, even through what I've been through, I'm very positive. People always say, you can't always be that positive, but I am that positive. I choose to be positive. It's all about mindset for me. So, and then I just saw the ads on Facebook and I thought, I want to be part of whatever this is. And I approached them. And like you've mentioned earlier, um, it is a company called Keller Williams and it just changed my life. I chose to be the best. I chose to go out and assist people. And I also like to, to help people through, I also want them to, to be the best version of themselves. So it's not about me. I love it when other people also excel. Right. Anushka, I know Marco very well. I'm a big fan of Marco, who's now actually in America. Uh, okay, Anushka, I want to quickly just take a step back before we get into your real estate career. Before getting into real estate, what was the, what was the catalyst? What was the, the mindset change or that shift that got you into real estate? Can you just go back a little bit in the, into, the, into the past, take us before time of real estate for you? Okay. So basically, I was, a, I was in corporate. Okay. Then I started my own company, which was a bond origination company um, for the South Africans will understand it. But for the rest of the world, that is where you do the finance on a home loan. And then in our recession time, um, the banks withdrawn our contracts. And I was basically unemployed and there was no income for me. And I was also a single mother. So basically, and when you've got kids and they are little, all you have to do is, for their sake, you must always be positive. Yeah. Although you, cl you cry behind closed doors, it's fine. You don't always want them to see the pain that you're going through. However, oh, I've got a very yeah. strong mindset, very strong. So um, I'm very positive and I knew something will come. And then I wanted to start a, a, a real estate and um, I got my license. At, in South uh, and it, uh, what was that shift from, from losing everything, from being in the business of real estate where you're funding real estate loans to now wanting to be coming to the for sale side of it? Did something happen there? What was the shift, Anushka? So you will not believe it. It's technology. So I saw post on Facebook, positive for post, from a gentleman by the name of Marco Kutzer. I've got lots of respect for him. He's actually changed my life. Um, and um, so I saw his post and I phoned him and I asked him if there's any positions available. And that's where my real estate journey started. Oh, Marco Kutzer. I love Marco. I know, I know him well. I've known him for years now. He's a, he is a very dynamic. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an energy. There's a, like a Midas touch for, uh, about him. I like him a lot. Yeah, so basically, uh, that's where my real estate started. So, and um, the very first year in my real estate, like I said, I was nominated as Rookie of the Year. And five years later, number one in South Africa. How do you, in America, it, it takes about three to six months to get your real estate license because you've got to be licensed and bonded. You've got to be governed by the local state and also by the Nationwide Association of Realtors. How does that work in South Africa? If I want to say, let's say, I've got to, I want to do some business in South Africa, I, I, I relocate there. What's that process or how does that work there in South Africa, Anushka? So everything in South Africa takes longer than in the USA. Yeah. So um, with us, it's a three-year process. You have oh, to start... Goodness me. Three years, yes. Yeah, that, yeah, that's not good. But anyway, I know what you're saying. So it's three years, and for some people, they take much longer. I just made the decision once um, I'm going to get into this industry, I'm going to get myself qualified. Nice. So in the first year is what they call, for South Africans, they call it your logbook. That is basically proof of what you have done. You've done um, show houses, and you've gone out to see clients, and you have to do it with your mentor. You're not allowed to do it without your mentor, and at that stage, it was Marco Kutzer, because he was qualified or is qualified, and then he signs it off. Then in your second year, they call it your qualification is your NQF4. That is what you then have to do, and then once you pass that, only you then allowed to go and do your exam, which is called your PDF. 
E exam. Okay. Um, and then once you've got that, you, you've got your license. Then you can basically go out and do contracts by yourself. So that takes about three years. So, uh, so that's actually not bad, Anushka, because at the end of the day, it's, it's almost like a, a, a real estate uh, brokerage where you can't just all of a sudden start negotiating and doing um, uh, transactions without any guidance and support. So I think like from the signs of it, the licensing process is a little bit archaic. However, the, the facilitation is quite present because that's exactly what you do in America. Uh, you can go out and do transactions on your own. However, I, I, like, I had a coach for a year and a half before, you know, I would dot any I or cross any T or submit any contract because it's, it's legally binding. And in America, I'm sure it's the same thing in South Africa because you deal with lawyers there. We deal with title and escrow, um, you know, uh, and what I learned about a 14-page a uh, purchase contract is you read it line by line um, but we had the guidance. So I'm kind of impressed. That's, that's, that's such a good system that you have in South Africa. I agree totally with you. Yeah. Um, you cannot, I mean, you're working with people's big, biggest asset. Mm. It's lots of money and, and you need to guide them. So I agree totally with that. Um, I'm glad it is like that in South Africa. Now, um, coming to your first year of you becoming the rookie, uh, I mean, of course, you had Marco, um, you know, as your mentor, as your coach, and, and direct you through the process. However, it's all about execution. So anybody can have the most, you can have Tony Robbins on your side, but you can actually accomplish nothing. You, you were like a, you crushed it. What did you do? Or, or do, like, what did you do to hit those numbers and, and become so amazing, Anushka? So I would say I bulletproof my transactions. I listen to what people want. I pre-qualify my clients and I will not take them or take an offer unless I know they can afford it. And that is the difference because there's lots of property professionals driving around working extremely hard, but they do not do their homework up front. I do it totally I believe I do it the right way. You do it with a pre-approval, make sure that your client can afford it and listen to what they want and take them to the properties that they ask for. Don't take them to a more expensive property. Don't take them to a property that's a double story if they ask you for a single story because they don't want steps. <laughs> um, and that's all about a skill. Um, listen to what they want and then they become your friends and then afterwards I must tell you most of my business is referral business I'm very extremely blessed and most of my clients became friends uh, that's amazing now in, in America we use so us our our income is called commission so uh, annually my gross commission income let's say it was a hundred thousand dollars what, what, what's the terms that South Africa use for and how does that look to be a top producer because I want to know how much money you're making in this I want to know the, I want to know the trade secrets explain to me that that process there coach I'm a new agent and I want to know all the details because I want to make money because this is a business so explain that to me Anushka to us first of all I think you need to have a passion lots of people getting into this into this um Profession thinking that you can make money. Yes, you can make lots of money, but it's very easy to make money. And no, it's it's hard work. You need to be committed. And then you also have to have the systems and the tools. Um, and then you also, I believe, you have to have the personality to become a real estate agent. Um, and that is you need to have the values. You need to be honest. You need to have integrity. You need to have the ethics. Um, and that is people see it and people could also feel your energy. I think people um, feed off each other's energy and you need to be educated. So I make sure that I be on most of the training courses. I also um, like even in lockdown, constantly educating myself. Excellent. excellent. Well, what, what I love about uh, being from South Africa, Anushka, you are right. We don't take things for face value. We, we always, 
we don't have doubt, but we have that other voice in our head. You know, we want evidence. We're very cynical. We want proof because, and, and, I, 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 and I, that's what I love about Americans is they take you for what you say. Or, you know what I mean? So if you say, they, they, they give you the benefit of the doubt. In South Africa, we're like, uh, skeptical, hold on. And I do like that because that works in South Africa. In America, it's a very good system. So things, they protect you, but there, there's also, there's no real reason to um, have to dodge bullets or do things incorrectly. Things are pretty much set up in such a proper professional way. It's easy for mm -hmm. us. In South Africa, I think you're almost like standalone. You don't have a very uh, good governing system or support system to guide you. So you're really kind of like a one-man bandit. When you go into transaction, you have to make sure you do due diligence like a billion percent because there's no getting out of it. You have to see it through. In America, things are really set up. The foundations are very solid. So I believe yeah. we have a lot of support in, in order to get us through the process. I think in South Africa... If you didn't have Marco or a real strong, honest, humble human being, you know, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble, especially with the wrong people. Because, you know, mm -hmm. South Africa is it's, 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 it's a tough fight. Every day it's a battlefield out there. You know, every day you're looking to support yourselves and you're, you don't have, yeah, we have uh, huge amounts of unemployment taking care of us. If we don't, you know, we have six yeah. months that can support us. So we, if I'm not making money, I can still collect money and take care of my family and my other bills in South Africa. Do you have unemployment? We do, we do. Um, we do have unemployment, and that's where I will leave it at. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. I, I'm just concerned because even here, it's not enough, but it's, it, it, it will suffice. Uh, Anushka, how did you, when you set your goals, how did you accomplish them? Because now, did you set a financial goal or a unit-driven goal um, or a... So I've started with a vision board. Oh, okay. So I've made myself a vision board right in the beginning when I started in real estate. And you don't realize when you achieve them. So um, I actually looked at my vision board the other day and I achieved every single one of them. And even in Rand Value, what I've put on there, um, I thought it's, I won't, this is going to be so hard to be able to achieve it. So there's a book called The Million, the MREA book. And in that book, they say in the first year, you will earn a million. And the following year, if you follow the module, you will net a million. And I was just like, if that is what it's saying, I will stick to the module. I will stick to what they're saying and I will achieve it. It's not about how many transactions you're doing because, and I'm also, you also call it commission. We call it professional fee. Okay. Uh, um, I don't negotiate on my professional fee. <laughs> that is what my fee is. <laughs> because I know yeah. 007. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's very strict. I'm very strict when it comes to my professional fee because yeah. I know the value that I give to my client and I know um, that I will get their property sold. And I also know that I've got a team behind me. So communication is key, especially yeah. with Africa. And then also um, we're going into a new era. So it's all about virtual, virtual tours, virtual um, so, and when people trust you, they will actually do business with you, even if they haven't seen the property. And I've, I've, I'm experiencing it right now. So if you know the answer, you will give it to your client. And if I'm not sure, I always tell my clients that I will get back to them and I will do my homework. So that is where it comes when I say um, I'm a very reliable property professional. And that is why people past clients refer me to their family, friends, and colleagues. So, Adushka, your, your past clients and your current sphere of influence, or actually your, your past sphere of influence will, has led to your, your future clients, because we're not living in the past, we're not living in the present, we're actually living in the future. That's what I believe, because the present's gone. Like, every nanosecond, we're into the future. So, your current sphere of influence uh, your, your, current, your, sorry, your current client base came from your sphere of influence. 
who was your sphere of influence? Was that your from your bond days doing bonds or church? Okay, that's very easy. We all got a phone. Just go into your phone book and Oops, start, right. and then just start from the top to the bottom and phone them and tell them I've just changed careers. Um, if you know of anyone buying or selling, right. you know they might phone. So that's basically where I started. We call it meds. I started with my meds. Okay, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's someone that you know. And then my new clients at that stage, they someone that I don't know, but from the very first moment that I meet you, to me, it's a met. So it just snowballs because you go into their database as well. Wow, Anushka, I'm so impressed. I'm so happy. I knew there was something impressively <laughs> uh, striking about you, uh, only because I just kept seeing number one, you know, like number one GCI, number one closed units, number one professional, <laughs> uh, uh, so property profession in South Africa. And that's, that's, that is remarkable because it's, it's human beings like yourself. It's great minds like yourself. It's unique people like yourself and a lady like you that really makes a difference because at the end of the day, your story speaks volumes because we all hear it. We all know what the millionaire real estate agent book preaches. We all know that there's some amazing mentors and coaches out there. We all know that there's the Tom Ferries and the Gary Vaynerchuks of the mm -hmm. world and the Tony Robbins and the Grand Cardones, which are remarkable human beings. That's for them though. I want it to be symbiotic. I want it to be a, I want it to be a win win for you and for me. So to hear your success from, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not on a grand stage, mean you're doing a call on two sides of the planet. And yeah. to hear your success is just beautiful because it, it would be rare for me to be able to hear your story because you're, you're kind of, you're like the ground roots. You're, you're, you're beating the street. You're not that top notch LA, uh, New York million dollar listing agent. However, I want you, to be. <laughs> you, you will be exactly. But the nice thing is you've achieved those, those goals though. You've done what they've done. So, um, I want to I want to end this year, and I want to I want anybody to know if they want to reach out to Anushka, I'm gonna have all of the details in the description box below in this video. And do me a favor, like this video as well, because it helps with YouTube analytics. And also, what's important, uh, one thing I'm taking away from this uh, interview with Anushka is I'm still talking to the audience, is Anushka's vision board because I have vision boards, but Anushka, I've never achieved every single uh, accomplishment or goal on my vision board. Can we do a future follow-up Zoom conference call where you can show us what you did, how you did it, and, and how you executed it to achieve it? Because I, I pretty much can scratch off about a few items, but nothing like you, Anushka. Nothing where it's like I hit everything. So maybe that's a future video, right? We can do that. That's not a problem. And I also just want to tell the audience, just believe in yourself because mm. I have achieved so much in the five years, but I've done it without realizing that I'm achieving it because I'm having so much fun while I'm doing it. And it's because I've got a passion. It doesn't feel like I'm working. It just feels like I'm reaching out to people and I assist them reaching their goals as well. And I think that is also what makes a huge difference. I get up every day. I cannot wait to to um you know to meet clients and reach my goals so to me it's all about passion it's about believing in yourself it's about mindset and you will achieve it without even knowing you're achieving it it happened to me it's still happening to me when i when i see or hear that i'm number one for the month or for the year in my in my market center i just sometimes I, i'm i'm surprised and I also give back a lot. I love giving back. I love... Um... Tell, us, tell us about that. Tell us about that because that, that's something that I think is very important for the audience to hear is you, you're, you're doing remarkable things, Anushka, and you're very humble about that. And I appreciate that because I think that's very sincere of you. And I can, I can, I can feel and I can sense and I, I know that about you. And also being a single mom, I'm, my charity is I support single mom uh, uh, um, charities. Because um, my mother brought me and my brother up by herself, and my mother's pretty badass. 
so what so i i completely connect with you on that level so do me a favor give us a tell us this cause that you have this charity that you have because that, that's pretty like a, a, a strong endeavor and taking massive action i'm very passionate about it it all started by in keller williams we've got a one day a year called yeah. the red day so you're not allowed to work globally and you have to give back to the community so we got involved with a charity called Matla Abana, which is for sexually abused children and women. Um, and it's children and women because it's boys and girls. So basically what we have done is um, the court didn't have certain things like cameras and we've got lots of people getting involved and sponsors. So um, as with a lot of things. And from the work that we have done, we've been involved here for almost three years now. So from the work that we've done and contributed to life sentences has is now being served well, because of these cultures. Yeah. Double O seven. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, last is the last is to kill mm -hmm. in a sense what I mean by that word is take out this garbage out of our lives that are destroying our children and amazing human beings, male and female. Yeah, and the sad thing is it's normally someone that, that the, they know. So it's a father, it's an uncle, it's a brother, it is um, the stepdad. So yeah, it is, it is um, very upsetting. Right. But we do a lot in the community. We do comfort packs for the kids. So when they have to literally sit in court oh, and they have oh. to go through the trauma again. So we do comfort packs for them. And yeah, we're making a huge impact in the community. If I could only do that, I would just do that. Um, but I'm definitely going to get um, the lady that started Matlaabana I want you to interview her. She's got a story. I would love to. I'd love to. The, the, the world needs to hear her, hear her story. And the world, the world needs more people like you, Anushka, that, yes, you have your day job, which funds your lifestyle. It also funds your causes and takes care of your children, which is very, very important because that's your legacy. Anushka, I, I want to end it here. And, and by the way, guys, if you're watching this video, please just hit the like button before. It really helps out with the analytics and getting more views. Uh, I really want to make a difference and by making a difference and being very purposeful in life, I bring amazing people like Anushka onto the show to kind of reveal to us her, like their secret source. And Anushka is one of those human beings. She's 007. Uh, Anushka, uh, I want to end with this. I want to ask you, I want to ask you, what's the one thing that you can leave us with today that we can ponder about or just leave us with a gift? What's the one thing you, we, that, you, 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 that you can leave us with, Anushka? So our, the one thing is believe in yourself. If I can do it, everyone else can do it. I'm no special person. I'm not different from anyone. I'm a human being. It's all between your ears. It's all about mindset. What you believe, you will achieve. Oh, I love it. I love it. Guys, this is Anushka Lube. Thank you. You're an absolute darling. You're, it's been very kind of you for you giving us your time. I wanted to follow up a meeting about your vision board, please, Anushka, because the world has to see that. It, it inspires, it motivates, and it directs them into the right direction. I've got to end it here. You're an amazing human being. Thank you so much for your time. And I look super forward to seeing many, 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 many more accolades and life-changing experiences that you bring to this world, Anushka. Thank you. And then I just want to end off by telling everyone in lockdown, Guys, there's opportunity in this. So just go and find it. There's definitely opportunities in a down market. And that is, lots of people make it big. So go find that opportunity in this down market and we will chat again. So do, Anushka, do me, just give, give, me one, give me one idea that you can make me think about. One opportunity in this, in this down market. So in my industry is, is thinking out of the box. Um, we've been in lockdown now for almost three weeks in South Africa. And I've had my busiest three weeks in a very, very long time. So I phone and I come from contribution. 
So just come from contribution. People will remember that call. So when they are ready to buy or sell, you are going to be the property professional that they want to do business with. I agree with you. I've, I've made more money in the stock market during this time. And I'm actually showing a home during this time. And I'm actually have property and putting offers in during this time that in lockdown, I, when they said we're having lockdown for four weeks, or well, it was first two weeks and then went to four weeks. I'm like, man, I, vacation, you know, sleep <laughs> in, no, and this should no, opposite. I'm talking to you at one o'clock in the morning. Do you know what I mean? We do what we have to do. Anushka, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. All of Anushka's details are going to be in the description box below. If you're looking to, uh, if you're relocating to South Africa or want to invest in South Africa, I'm talking buy, sell, or invest. Anushka is your 007. Thank you, Anushka. We'll speak Thank soon, you. okay? Thank you, Kevin. Be pleased. Cheers.